There's a f fly. <laughs> Where did it go? The fly is already attacking the fish. He's he's hungry. Welcome to Small Turns Big. Today we're gonna bust the myth. There's a video that went viral where apparently a scientist looks at toonfish under the microscope and sees very big fibers, or actually plastic fibers. So we want to make sure if this is really for real or if they're just joking with us. Because you never know what's on the internet. Everything can be fake or maybe just twisted around. So yeah, that's why we got our toonfish can here. But first we're gonna watch a video together and see what they actually should look like. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. A scientist opened up a can of tuna and put the meat under a microscope. Yeah, okay. Apparently a scientist did this. He's putting the fish on the glass plate. They found that there was microscopic plastic inside of the fish. The pla Wow, okay. This plastic is really big. These fibers are not really tiny. These are quite big. So you would actually see them almost with the bare eye maybe. I think how it works is actually that the smaller fish eat the microplastic and then the tuna actually catches these uh, smaller fish and eats them for dinner. So is this really a fact? If they eat the plastic, does not does it go into the flesh of the body or does it just stay in the digestive system or maybe just do they spill it out as waste again? Let's try to really figure out if this is really happening. Let's open the tuna fish can here now under the microscope. I actually on purpose got the not the oil, but the salt water tuna fish, so it would not mess up everything here. It's quite a lot of liquid. Let's maybe drain that first also. Let's drain it here. It's not the ideal <laughs> method to drain it in a plate, but there we go. Okay, let's open up the lid here. Let's start looking around what we can see. So move around here on this magnification. Okay, I see something here already. You see that? I hope this is not plastic. I thought this could be a myth. But let's let's zoom in here a bit more. Wow. Okay. Is this plastic? I'm shocked. Is this really? It's it's not a little bit plastic. It's a lot. If this is really plastic, it could be maybe a fiber. This is quite interesting. Let me quickly zoom out just as a reference. We go over here to the meat here, the flesh of the tuna. Okay, yeah, it looks like this is by design. This is the texture of the, the meat. That wasn't probably plastic, because you can see by design, the flesh has this string type of uh, structures. Okay, then let's keep on hunting here for some plastic. Like the tuna hunt their, their prey. I don't think we can find plastic like this, because it's so much flesh in here. Yeah, let's 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 make our job easier. Let's put it uh, on this one here, so we can move it around a bit better. Let's take it out here some flesh. Let me squash this a bit more. Then we can maybe see some plastic inside. Okay, this looks interesting already. Two fish by design just looks like plastic fibers under the microscope. That's quite neat, but but it's for sure not plastic. Okay, here you can see the normal textures here from the fish. Let's go a bit closer with the magnification. And then yeah, you can see some little dots here, black spots. I don't know. What do you think this is? It could be maybe in the production some dirt when they had to package the meat, or it's maybe some very small micro particles. You would have to do probably chemical analysis to find out what it really is. Yeah, so I feel like here on this magnification here that I'm using now, I don't see any, any particle that's similar in size that they showed like in the video. I've been looking at this probably now already five minutes, but nothing here. Flip this around here. Maybe there's something. Oh yeah, I saw there's some dark, dark piece here. Let's look at that. Here, the flesh is like a bit strange. There's all these structures going symmetrical, but this one is like out of whack here. <laughs> this is like a bowl. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Looking suspicious, but a lot of things look suspicious under the microscope. We would have to spend a bit more time, more hours, get more samples and then inspect them to be really a good scientist. For me, I think I saw enough. There's nothing in here. I think this one's safe to eat. Let's give it a go. Mm -hmm. you, you, you really feel these fibers of the toonfish texture. Nice. 
Makes sense now if I eat it and I see these fibers, how it tastes and the texture, quite interesting. So let's compare this now with the fiber that we saw before. And you can clearly see it looks different. You can see the, the textures here. The color and the texture here looks like toonfish, so it probably was toonfish from the background. The fiber itself, you would have a hard time to find something like this, I think. You'd have to go through the whole can here or maybe also go through several cans to be very scientifically correct to find out how many fibers or how much fibers you can find. My only conclusion how this uh, particle could get in here is maybe when it got caught in a fishing net and tried to escape. I don't think it went through the digestive system and came into its flesh. I hope you enjoyed it. My time has come now to enjoy this toonfish, hopefully without plastic. If you have any other videos that I should try to debunk, send me a link to my Instagram and I'll have a look at it. And I'll try to feature your suggestion in one of the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next videos.